Hello, I'm Eric Snodgrass, and thank you for watching today's Ag Forecast for South America, brought to you by Nutrient Ag Solutions. Well, I heard a few stories this week, and I saw some uh, videos on Twitter and even got a report talking about some of the issues that were happening with the soybean crop, with aborted pods, especially in parts of Brazil's southern growing areas, specifically Paraná. And one of the articles attributed this to the excessive rainfall that was back in January and the subsequent lack of solar radiation or sunshine during that time period. Now, I've shown you multiple times over the last several weeks how much rain fell in southern Brazil in the month of January. Well, what this map shows is cumulative downward solar flux. In other words, compared to normal, how much sunlight's getting to the plant canopy. Now, this is for both North and South America, but if we zoom in on South America, a couple things to point out. The abundance of sunshine in this area was caused by the drier conditions, the clearer skies, and that stretches from parts of Brazil's eastern growing areas, including Tocantins, Minas Gerais, back into northern Mato Grosso. But if you look here in Mato Grosso do Sul, uh, getting down into Paraná, which is here, and then eventually into northern Rio Grande do Sul, cutting through Santa Catarina, we see this these bluer colors representing down here, or these cooler colors, excuse me, that do represent um, less than normal sunlight getting during the month of January down to the plant canopy. So I'm trying to put some data and maps to the anecdotes, the stories we're hearing and the videos we're seeing from this region. So certainly it is showing up there. And I also noticed the same thing for Argentina. Argentina in the month of January uh, had below normal solar radiation reaching the plant canopy as well. Now, speaking of Argentina, over the next week, we're going to continue our dry stretch, especially over the next five days, which is what's shown here. And, um, during that same time period, it will be quite wet in parts of Brazil's southern and eastern growing areas here, getting up to, uh, to Mato Grosso, where over the next five days, we could be picking up, you know, two to three plus inches of rainfall in this area as the monsoon is actually quite strong right now. But seeing this large hole in Argentina, I want to first show you that the temperatures will be building uh, back to above average. We're, we're, we've stayed cooler than normal, as I showed you on Monday, but we're starting to see the resurgence of some above average temperatures really into the end of this weekend and early next week on those drier conditions before rains start to try to return. I'll show you that in a moment. But how about some numbers uh, here out of Argentina? Right now, the corn crop, 12% of it is rated poor to very poor with 64% rated as fair. That leaves 24% rated at good to excellent. Now, why I want to tell you this is that a year ago in Argentina, 61% of the um, corn crop was rated at uh, good to excellent. So we're, we're pretty, we're down uh, compared to what we were a year ago. And since we're kind of tossing out some numbers, I want to show you, now, again, this was from the end of last week. We get these at the end of the week. But through the 19th of February, we could see that we were about, you know, 36% harvested on soybeans. We were a year ago at about 80%. And you can almost use these same two numbers to match up the planting of the corn crop. So the safrina crop was about 35% planted at the end of last week. And normally, well, a year ago, they were at 80% planted. So this is kind of the... I would say the well-advertised delay we were expecting just due to the delays of everything going in. Now, from there, I want to show you um, March 2nd through March 7th. March 2nd through the 7th. What we're going to notice here is that in parts of Rio Grande do Sul to parts of Uruguay and Buenos Aires, that province, we're seeing drier conditions. But do you see the very wet conditions forecast for Argentina's western growing areas? Now, as we watch early next week, the potential for rainfall increases here. There will be a challenge trying to figure out if the heavy rains do get to Cordoba, do they get to Santa Fe? If they miss in this area, we then go into fully on to week two back over to drier in this region, at least favored by the models. We also see this eastern region of Brazil dry, but still keeping wet conditions here where we're actively trying to harvest uh, a crop right now. If I just show you uh, that same time period compared to normal, again, like I said, how far to the east does this rain from these storms make it, or do they stay butted up here kind of in the foothills over toward the Andes Mountains? That's what's going to be the real challenge with this upcoming forecast for Argentina. We'll have to watch it in real time. But as we step out there looking out into week two, again, we'd still notice that the models want to favor drier conditions in much of Argentina and wetter conditions, you know, from parts of Brazil south right up here into Mato Grosso. So that gets you through March 11th. Now, I'm going to show you something that I want to give you an update on for Monday, and it is the full month of March outlook from the latest European. So late tonight, we get a new update. It comes out twice a week, okay? And uh, this, this, this outlook is still showing through March, favoring drier conditions in Argentina, 
but wetter from, you know, Parna going through Mato Grosso do Sol into Mato Grosso through the month of March. I've seen some indications of, of drying this down a little bit, getting it more closer to normal. And as I presented to you recently, this is an area that with this late planted corn crop, we need to watch carefully in um, May and June and July as it finishes because there's some risk of drought north late. So we'll keep you posted on all of that and uh, keep putting in our videos, okay? Appreciate your attention this week. We'll talk to you again on Monday. Thanks.